I'm here at the War for the Overworld stand with you could introduce yourselves to the camera very briefly. I'm James Heineken, and I'm the writer for Subterranean Games. Okay, so obviously this is based on a few different games. If you could just very briefly explain like the origins of where this has come from, because you know not everyone has played the amazing games that this has been influenced by. Yeah, um, so it's mostly influenced by Dungeon Keeper, but there's also um, Evil Genius and um, Overlord. So I was a massive Dungeon Keeper fan as a kid, and like the guys already know on my channel, I've been doing videos on this, and I'm really, really excited about it. So what made you guys do it now? Was it Kickstarter or, or what? It was a combination of a lot of things. Um, the idea had been tossed around for a while, and then the group sort of came together with, I guess, the motivation and the assets and the skill to do it. And uh, we jumped together and said, like, let's let's really do it this time, and uh, put together the Kickstarter project, and got lucky, I guess. <laughs> it's a fantastic idea because there was a third supposed to happen, and then it got cancelled. So it's almost like we've been waiting for this for years, and we're denied it. So thank you to you guys for for doing that. Obviously, there have had to be some changes because of it not being from the um, original franchises of all the games. Um, the most recent build, you've got the Chunder in, which is sort of a vile demon troll workshop sort of minion. What else have you got coming in soon that you can tell us about? Uh, soon or right now? Well, either. Go okay, um, so right now we added the Veins of Evil, which is our tech tree. Um, it allows you to sort of build your Underlord the way that you want to, even though it's in its basic stages right now. Uh, that was a major milestone for us. And then in the future, we're looking at a couple neat little additions, but we can't talk about them yet, because okay. uh, they're a similar surprise like this. Okay, <laughs> cool. The, uh, the Veins of Evil, currently, it's, it's quite basic, because obviously you're testing it out. Um, is it going to be later on that you have to commit fully to one specific tree, almost, or can you go between them? Uh, so it, you never have to commit to one specifically. In order to go further down in the tiers, you'll have to put a point in every, every tier above that. But um, we want players to be able to play it exactly how they want to and have the skills and abilities that sort of are important to them and make it their own. Fantastic. I know you do a lot of things on your website, like you showcase a few of the minions that you're planning on putting in. In terms of the, like the, the goodly hero knights, how much of an interaction are you going to have with them? Because I know there are other enemy AIs as well. Yes. So the main campaign, we can't spoil too much, but um, you'll be facing off against a variety of enemies. Okay. Um, the main campaign is focused on you know, taking over the overworld, which is ruled by the Empire. Um, so they'll be like the main protagonists that you'll see, okay. or antagonists. Okay, cool. <laughs> and someone was asking me on Twitter to ask you guys, and obviously, I don't know if you can say, um, if things like the torture room and the prison system are going to be brought in again so you can take over uh, enemies. Uh, yeah, so there will be torturing. Um, in order to convert enemies. I, we've, I think we've hinted at it before. I don't know if we've ever said, but there you go. And um, we'll also have a prison. So, yes. Awesome. You are going to have, or I think you are going to have multiplayer, aren't you? How is that going to work? Uh, basically, you'll just, it'll be sort of a skirmish-based thing. Um, okay. So you'll jump in with a couple friends or just one other person and uh, face off against them. And uh, we're hoping to have modifiers, hopefully, for you know, like random little events that can happen during nice. the match or uh, nice. to alter things to sort of make it more interesting. Awesome. And is that going to be just on your friends list, or can you do it literally just with anyone? Unfortunately, I don't know yet. Um, okay. We haven't really touched it, and we're going to go into it in the near future. Um, hopefully, okay. by the end of the year, we'll be able to test it out. And it might not work great, but um, that's sort of a goal right now for us. Yeah, and I mean, you have a good testing base now anyway, right. so you'll hear you'll hear from them if, uh, if it does or doesn't work. So that's, that's good. Um, People are also asking, and it's a bit it's a bit far in the future for this, but they were saying, are you when it's released, are you planning to keep it updated? Are you going to do DLCs? Yeah, um, we really like the universe that we're building, and there's so much content that we want to put in that we just won't have time for for the initial game. Uh, so we're planning a lot of things. We have a ton, like a huge list. It grows longer every day. Um, That's good. Just stuff that we want to add. That's good. That's absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you, thank you very much for having a brief chat you. with me. The the, uh, the tutorial and the, the first level that you've yes. uh, released look absolutely great. I, I had a great time playing them. And uh, hopefully you guys will too. You can get it on Steam. You can get it on Greenlight and try it out now if you want. I hope. Yeah. By the time this goes yeah, out, it should that. be out. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, check it out. 
and it's um, wftogame.com, isn't it, for the website. I'm learning these things. It's great. So, yeah, thank you very much for your time, and check this out, guys. If you haven't already, check the videos out and check the website out. There are two kinds of underlord, those that choose to follow but one path, and those that embody the three vile veins of sloth, greed, and wrath. Your minions are waiting, underlord. All that remains is for you to accept the call and join the battle in this war for the overworld.